WordPress to mobile app. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can turn your WordPress website into a mobile application. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So I'm on this website called appmysite.com. And over here, what you can do is you can turn your website into an application, which I think is pretty cool. And you don't need any coding whatsoever. So let's get started. So over here, this is a free website. However, there is a pricing plan available for it, which I will get into later. But for now, we're going to stick with the free version and we'll just simply click on get started for free over here. It's going to take us over here where we just simply have to sign up by entering in our email address and our other details or you can continue with google or facebook i'm going to go ahead and sign up with google and once you've done that you are good to go and over here as you can see you're good to go just simply click on build an app over here you enter in your website's domain so i'm going to be using this website right here it's a free website and the domain is very very weird so i'm just simply going to go ahead and copy it and over here i'm just simply going to paste it all right this is a wordpress website and over here i'm just simply going to call it demo website 2 you know over here you can name it anything you want and once you've done that you are good to go now if you are using a woocommerce plugin so that you can make your application into like you know a classified ads type of website or you know you want to turn it into a store then you can turn this on so that it, you know it has all the woocommerce or e-commerce you know functionality as well so when i'm just simply gonna go ahead and turn it off and i'm simply gonna click on build app over here and then over here it's going to take you to the appearance of your application so over here you get to choose the color and logo of your application so over here as you can see this is how it looks like over here and you're going to have your app icon over here now if you wanted to upload your own app icon you can just simply click over here and choose an image that you want so maybe this one okay so i can't upload it because that is not in a jpeg which is weird let me just see oh well but if it's a jpeg you can just simply upload your icon over here and it'll be displayed over here for now we're just simply going to stick to the original one and we'll go ahead and move on so over here you can also increase and decrease the you know size of the font within the application and you can change it to whatever you want like over here dd that's how it looks like so i'm just simply going to call it d over here you can change the fonts and the color of the font within the application once you've added it out once you've completed with this step just simply click on next and you can move on to the next part where you can just simply edit the launch screen of your website over here so again if you want to upload your own image you can go ahead and do that or you can go ahead and upload this so over here maybe you can you know change the image to whatever you want like over here they have a bunch of different images that you can choose so maybe something like along this way or maybe this one if you click on done then this is how it's going to look like and then you can you know over here change the name to whatever you want you can select a background as well like over here as you can see you can go with a complete blank color and you can you know add add it as well so for example if i wanted to add this and i switch it to and then it'll you know add like a shade over the top so that it looks you know darker or brighter over here as you can see you can go ahead and change that however you feel like it so i think this looks good then you can go ahead and align the text or the logo as well so over here as you can see at the bottom at the top or in the center you can change the fonts and the size of the font as well so as you can see over here i'm going to keep it at 25 and once you've done this just simply click on next and you will move over to the next part where we have the login and the sign up options where we can go ahead and edit it out so over here this is how it looks like right so again you can go ahead and maybe add another image like i added this one i'm gonna add that as well and over here you can change the colors so maybe like you know make it a little bit brighter or make it a little bit darker so that you know it looks good and then you can go ahead and you know change all of the other ones and then you can change the text as well so the text color i'm gonna keep white so over here as you can see and all of the other ones i'm gonna also choose white so that it looks good over here yeah that looks nice and the button colors as well you can change that to whatever you want and then you have the secondary text color and i'm gonna keep it white as well as you can see it looks really nice looks really cool and once that's done just simply click on next and as i said before this view is for android as well so if you click on android button it'll show up for the android as well for android you can maybe like you know change it a little bit how you feel like it and next you can you know go ahead and edit the color theme of your overall website so for example i would like to have like a darker color over here there you go 
same with the button color i want to make it like black i think that looks good because overall our you know apps color was a darker themed color you can choose red as well however you feel like it change the button colors text colors change the fonts and everything and this is how it's going to look like in the android as well and the ios as well so once that's done just simply click on next and move over to the home screen so over here as you can see the overall builder experience is very simple nothing too complicated about that you just edit your application however you feel like it then you can go ahead and move over to the next step where we have connectivity where we can connect our websites and our application together so over here you can go ahead and change the overall uh, you know layout of your home or your application so for example as you can see we have these option right here so maybe i would want to move the popular blogs up at the top now i have to save and refresh right so since the popular blogs are up there i just simply click on next then it has been saved now if i wanted to go back to the home screen over here you will see the popular blogs are up at the top and then you have the main blog at the bottom so i would like to keep the popular blogs at the bottom and i would like to put the blog category at the top and then they'll simply click on save there we go this is how it looks like right now we have the category at the top and then we have the blogs at the bottom so once you've done your customization you can go ahead and enter in the settings of each individual blog category as well as i said before you can know you click over here for the main banner you can go ahead and edit the main banner itself same thing with the blog categories we click on setting you can add the blog categories over here you can change them to round circles as well as you can see over here i feel like rounded circles are pretty cool and you can change the column as well so once that's done just simply click on save and you are good to go so once you've edited it out just simply click on next and you are good to go so next we have connectivity so we're going to go over here to install plugin and over here they're basically going to tell you to install the my app site plugin within your website so for example let's go over to my website and over here we will have this plugin right we just simply click on install now wait for a couple of seconds for it to be installed and then we click on active all right now that it's activated now i feel like it should work now if we go back over here onto my app my site as you can see we have logged into our site back panel installed and activated the plugin now we just simply click on verify button so that it can verify the installation boom here we go the application has been found and it has been verified next what we can do is we can add the administrator username and application password all right just follow these steps over here and we are good to go so we have to copy paste the username over here and then we have to navigate ourselves into the application passwords panel and then we have to add the new application password panel and we have to input app my site in it and then we have to click add new password and then we can copy paste that password over here so let's get to it so over here go back to your you know dashboard of your like you know wordpress website go into profiles right click on profile scroll down at the bottom you will see you have application password right here so over here you need to add app my site right here like this or you can just simply copy the name from here and and then just simply click on add new application password and this is going to be the application password for your application so just copy that paste it over here and over here you know paste your uh you know username so this is my username i'm just simply going to paste that over there and then just simply click on verify and as you can see api key submitted perfectly it is now connected to my profile over here to my wordpress website and my application are now both connected then all you have to do is just simply go to monitor over here you can monitor all of your you know settings all of your tweaks and then you have your settings option where you can manage all of your application and then you have the download option as well where you can download the application for your android or ios so if you click on proceed now then you can go ahead and you know preview the application over here but if you actually wanted to submit it then you would have to get the yearly plan or you know more premium plans as well so over here we have the starter yearly which can help you save 120 dollars and over here it's going to be cost you 19 dollars per month and the pro yearly is going to cost you 39 dollars per month and their premium yearly is going to cost you 79 so over here you only get the preview all right you can't actually publish your applications but over here in the year starter pack you can publish your application for android and then for the yearly you can publish it both on android and apple and for the premium you can actually publish it and post it to be able to download the application on tablets as well so that is pretty awesome so pretty much that's it that's how you you know do it that's how you you know convert your website into a mobile application so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye